September 4, 2005, Father's Day, and as families across the country celebrated, Robert Farquharson was driving his three boys home to their mother after an access weekend. As they drove down the Princess Highway south of Geelong, their vehicle, a 1989 Holden, came off the road, ploughed across high grass and plunged into this dam, coming to rest 28 metres from the shore. Farquharson managed to swim to safety, hailing down a passing motorist before driving to tell his ex-wife the heartbreaking news. But as police began their investigations just hours after the fatal crash, they told the court something didn't make sense. Farquharson insisted he'd suffered a coughing fit and blacked out, but the jury was told the evidence suggested something far more sinister. As police gathered witnesses, Farquharson was taken into custody. He stood by his story while his ex-wife, Cindy Gambino, stood by her man. The court case lasted more than six weeks. The jury heard from more than 50 witnesses and it was a case that placed best friends against each other. Now this was a question the jury had to answer. Was Robert Farquharson a triple killer who suffered from severe depression and anger or was he just a mourning father whose life had changed forever because of a dreadful, tragic accident? Gregory King, a man who says he still suffers nightmares and someone Farquharson has known since he was a teenager. In the Supreme Court, Mr King recalled a conversation he said had happened three months earlier. Farquharson allegedly told him he was going to take away the things that were most important to his former wife, their three children, even mentioning a dam where the boys were drowned but he'd survive. It was chilling testimony and then came the forensic evidence. This steering wheel used in court to demonstrate that Farquharson had to turn the wheel 220 degrees to replicate the car's dramatic right turn, an impossible task, the prosecution argued, for a man who was supposed to be unconscious. In the closing address, the defence told the 14-member jury that Farquharson was not a triple murderer, but an innocent man. It's been two years since that Father's Day, but the flowers and thoughts remain for 10-year-old Jai, 7-year-old Tyler, and two-year-old Bailey. Aaron Young, Sky News, Melbourne.